Longer wait times at the border are impacting businesses in San Ysidro. This comes after Ped West was closed yet again. CBS 8's Chris Grow live here in studio to explain what Customs and Border Protection is now doing. I yeah. mean, this impacts what thousands and thousands of people mm -hmm. a day. Thousands of people and then maybe even think about the people who are deciding not to come because right. they're seeing that border wait time and that's what these businesses are pointing to right now. The fact that there are people who are going to skip out on making that journey, making that crossing when they could be spending money at their business, especially in the area of San Ysidro. We have so many items, but we don't have customers. Nobody wants to wait four or five hours. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Now, CBP says that Ped West is closed again to assist in migrant processing. That leads to longer wait times at other U.S.-Mexico border crossings like Otay. Now, according to the Executive Director of International Affairs at the San Diego Regional Chamber of Commerce, border communities lose about $2 billion a year due to long wait times. Now, CBP told CBS 8 in a statement, quote, to mitigate wait times at the point of entry, CBP is repositioning its existing resources and opening as many lanes as possible to accommodate the increases. But businesses in the meantime say they're continuing to struggle. To do this just in the height of the holidays, you know, when San Isidro is looking at the bigger time of the year, these are millions of dollars every single weekend. They were trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel and all of a sudden they have all these new uh, new challenges. Other experts are pointing to other contributing factors for those longer wait times, like the high cost of living, as well as infrastructure projects on the Mexico side of the border. Netta.